Hello, my name is Ben Tibbetts, and I'm a pianist and composer working in the area of Austin, Texas. In October, I collaborated with local pianists Graham Yates and Carl Logue on a concert called Three of a Mind. It was a concert that involved us three pianists and composers performing on two pianos. So we called it a trio for two pianos. Uh, we traded off on different pieces that we were playing. So I would play with Carl, Carl would play with Graham, Graham would play with me. And we performed music by Gershwin, Bach, Schumann, uh, Ravel, and others. And most of the arrangements on this concert were original to us. For example, I contributed an original arrangement of An American in Paris by George Gershwin. Speaking of collaboration, I also worked with my dad on a project this past month. Uh, my father, Dwight Tibbetts, is a very good arranger for brass quintet. Dwight founded two brass quintets, one in Maine called the Downey's Brass, and one in Florida called the Coastal Brass. We worked together to arrange You Are My Sunshine, which was my grandfather's favorite song, and uh, that was recently published on Brass Music Online. Earlier this year, my friend Brittany Benavidez-Smith produced a solo piano arrangement of the Christian hymn, All Things Bright and Beautiful. And I ended up performing it at my church, Trinity Church of Austin. And this past month, I recorded it for her. I just want to thank Brittany for letting me take a look at her music and uh, learn it and perform it and record it. It's been a lot of fun. Also in October, I released a couple of new tracks on my audio store. Most notably, a waltz for violin and harp, a collection of sort of ambient music produced by synthesizers and orchestral instruments, and a collection of free jazz piano uh, compositions. That last collection is an interesting one because it was actually produced on commission. This free piano music is quite abrasive, but also quite exciting. It's based on the work of jazz pianist Cecil Taylor. I don't usually write music in this genre, and I'm glad it was useful for my client. And now that it's in the audio store, I'm sure this will be useful to content creators of all... Sorry. And now that it's in the audio store, I'm sure it will be useful to content creators of all kinds. Speaking of music that's hard to listen to, I also released some sketches that didn't pan out. This is kind of a uh, coin toss for me, whether or not it's worth releasing music that's not finished. But I like the idea of sharing work in progress, uh, as long as it's cordoned off and uh, clearly marked as something that's not intended for uh, professional use. These sketches are just kind of a glimpse into my writing process. You can hear some ideas that didn't pan out, and um, maybe somebody will enjoy them anyway. A few weeks ago, I had the pleasure of interviewing composer Kevin Olson. Uh, Kevin is a very talented composer who's written an enormous amount of work, especially for piano. The interview was produced by and released through Central Texas Composers, which is a small music publishing group that I'm associated with here. We spoke about music creativity, education, piano pedagogy, avoiding writer's block, and a lot of other topics that I think are of interest to not just composers, but really artists of any genre or medium. I've been working with the Austin Public Organization, and specifically, I've been volunteering for the TV show ATX Underground. And uh, back in September, I got an opportunity to perform an original short story on that show. I finally released this short story online on my YouTube channel. I should caution that this story has some adult language, and it's not for children. This was a story that I wrote out and prepared to perform at this event. Uh, but it is true, it's based on a, a true event that happened to me in college. And that's about it for this monthly update. Um, I hope that you found some stuff in here that was interesting or useful to you. And um, 
if you're just watching this to stay in touch, that's awesome. Feel free to reach out. I've got my email at the bottom of the page here. And uh, I hope to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And until next time.